What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn a simple and easier way to apply table of contents in all of your posts automatically. So, into one of the videos that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here, we did learn how to create this table of contents manually without using any plugin and using the WordPress the full block editor, okay? So here is the table of contents. Into another video that I also gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here, we did learn how to use the Yoast SEO block of table of contents, okay? It's a premium feature of the Yoast premium plugin. However, one solution requires a lot of work and another solution requires that you pay for a premium plugin. But even paying, you need to apply this in every single post that you want. But how to apply it into all of your blog posts automatically without paying anything and without doing anything? This is what we're gonna learn into this video, okay? But before we can start, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us and motivates us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, internet usage on your favor and everything you need in order to save your time and money, okay? So let's get it started. First of all, go to our WordPress dashboard, okay? Every single video I like to start this because bring it equal for everyone. And from the dashboard, we're gonna review the left side of menus and we're gonna move to our plugins, okay? So once plugin, go to add new. And right here, we're gonna type easy table. Simple as it is. This is the plugin. As you can see, it's active in thousands of sites. It's very well hated and it's by Magazine 3. Okay, thanks guys for your great plugin. Click on install, okay? Easy table of contents. After this, click on activate button. It's gonna redirect you to the plugin welcome page, okay? No need to worry. The plugin gonna ask you to subscribe to their newsletter you have no needs but if you like the plugin and would like to share some news subscribe and also they want to sell you the pro version like everyone no needs to worry let's keep it for free so no thanks i will stick with the free version for now as you can see absolutely nothing was made but let's review our post can you see this just like the table of contents that we used to see in Wikipedia, for example. Every part is working pretty, pretty, pretty good. And you can have this toggle element right here to open and close. Let's check it on page because the plugin is set to call to apply this on page as well. As you can see, we have table of contents as well on page. We can remove this in the case that you want, but let's explore this later. <laughs> Let me go to blog. Let me review another post that I did not have added the table of contents. And here we go. Here is our table of contents. As you can check, the table of contents will always appear before the first heading element of your post. That's why you can see this content right here before our table of contents because there's no heading before it, okay? Now let's learn how to remove this from page and only keep this into our posts on, of our blog, for example. Right here, enable support. By default, it's posts. Let me remove the page. Let me screw it down until the end and click on save change. Change, I save it and now no more table of contents gonna appear into our page. You're gonna need to remove this as well from pages, okay? My mistake, I forget to check this one. So uncheck the page on auto insert. 
and save change once again. Let's explore a little bit more of the settings. Position, before the first heading, this is the default. After the first heading, after the first paragraph, top or bottom. After the first paragraph, it's normally my recommendation, okay? But the before first heading, it's pretty, pretty good and Google's like it, okay? Show when two or more headings are present. This is very good, okay? Display header label, show header, header label, table of contents, you can change this in the case that you want, toggle view, you can alert users to toggle this, okay? Initial view, initially hide the table of contents, no, I want to have this, show the hierarchy, good, the A2 came before the A3, okay? The counter, decimal, but you can change in the way that you want, Arabic, for example, American, Smooth screw, this is very nice. TOC loading method, JavaScript default or per CSS. Choose the best for you, okay? Sticky toggle option on and off, no need for set this on. Widget is auto, but we can change this for 100% in the case that you want. Alignment, we can move this to center, to right, to left, okay? The title font size. You can set in pixels, EMs, or percentage, okay? The title font weight, medium is good for me. The font size, the shield font size, and the team options, okay? The team options is where you're gonna set colors and other customizations. For example, the full is gray, but you can change for light blue, white, black, transparent. The custom theme, you can change the background color, the border, the text the link, the hover, the link vista, and the header in direction, okay? Decoration, the direction. We can set this to lowercase, to high price, the homepage, the CSS, the inline CSS, and the headings that, want to, that you want to be listed. Normally, it goes until heading four, so you can unmark the heading five and header six, but it's up to you, okay? We can exclude headings in the case that you want. We can set a uh, offset. It's very good according to the Z index of your heading menu. This is gonna help you. For example, if you click right here, you don't like where the page stops, you can change a little offset, okay? A default prefix, widget, selection, and remove the TOC title. Here is a short code, you can copy this short code and apply a table of contents in every part of your site in the case that you want. No need to worry because you have the auto insert option, but it's good to know. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our borderless WordPress plugin in the case that you are in need of more widgets, elements, templates, tools, and even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. And you can download this for free on your WordPress website on WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and search for borderless, install, and activate, okay? Once again, in the case that you are in need of an amazing free WordPress theme with pre-built websites, templates, importable with a single click. Well, again, fully customizable menu, lots of options to apply your logo type and many, many good things for landing pages and other kinds of sites. Go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, ser add new, search for Enzo, install and activate and enjoy a free theme with premium features, okay? Moreover, and as a final note, make sure that you check the visualmodo.com. We have a blog full of contents for you, okay? And more descriptions. And in the case that you are in need of make your site faster, have your landing page up and selling faster, go to visualmodo.com, purchase our Visual Moto Pass and go pro, so you can choose from almost unlimited pre-built websites of every business style, 
hundreds of pages, thousands of sections, all importable with a single click, full support and extra premium features like design elements and many more features. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And I see you tomorrow. All the best.